Good day everyone. So with the process of making bronze, I've made several different molds. My cousin Rena said to me, you've already got the molds, why don't you just start making candles? That'd be way quicker than a bronze and you could sell those. That's a good idea. So I got a 10 pound block of paraffin wax. I got some candle wick. We're gonna see if we can make a candle with our molds. Now if I look at my original bear, I have to try to envision where a wick would be and I'm thinking right by the hump would be a good place. Now in my mold there's no place for a wick to be there but I'm hoping I can just squish it in there and it's not gonna um, affect the quality of the cast too much. So I've got my wick in there and it's all clamped up. I think the next step is just heat some wax and dump it in. Is that all there is to candle making? So candles these days always have some kind of essential oil scent in there and I got these. I got um, moke. I don't know what that is. Jasmine, I've heard of it, don't really know what that is. Butterfly pea. Wonder how they harvest that. <clears throat> Let's see. So butterfly pea. It smells like a flower. Monk. It smells good. Jasmine. smells like I think I think jasmine's a popular one so we're gonna make a jasmine grizzly bear whoops I know wax shrinks a lot so as it hardens it's gonna be sucking down in there so I'm just gonna pour a little more wax in there until it's completely hard. So while the bear's cooling down let's work on the eagle. I think all I'll have to do is just set the wick on the top, clamp it down, and fill it with wax. If you look, you can really see that thermal contraction, how the wax just draws all the wax from the outer edge into the core. So there's some gappage there. I figured I could just fix up that seam, but all my wax is leaking out. The seam ended up sealing itself, so then I just poured in another batch of wax later on. Inside of this wax stays molten for so long. That's amazing. It takes a long time to harden. It's still liquid inside. Bear's been cooling for about four hours. I'm hoping that's enough. Well, at first it looks really cool, kind of like a polar bear, but it didn't turn out at all. You can see the chin, the whole bottom part of the face didn't cast at all. The foot didn't cast at all. You can still feel the heat from it four hours later. That's incredible. And this wax is very brittle. I just broke the foot off. Nice. Looking at my mold, I see the wax did come through the vents. So it's not that the vents weren't allowing the wax to get through. I think what happened is, is this stuff contracts so much when it cools that the liquid wax just withdrew back into the main body of the bear. You can see on the face there, how it's concave, that was being sucked in to the main body as it cooled. So if I'm gonna turn this into a candle, I'm gonna to have to do it like I do my regular lost wax casting. Getting a coat of wax around the edge and building it up layers at a time. 
let's try it again. Another thing here is I see my seam is not completely centered on the bear. So if I want that wick to be in the center, I'm gonna have to do something else than put it on the seam. But it does smell like lavender. Let's see if the eagle turned out any better. Again, the small points didn't cast. Not because the wax didn't get there, but I'm thinking it was just vacuumed out of there, drawn back into the main body as there was thermal contraction. Candles aren't as easy as I thought. Fire, 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 fire. Everything else looks fairly good at it, so I think I'm gonna try to actually sculpt the rest of the beak out of soft wax. So we got a beak back on there. It's not perfect, but good enough, eh? None of the detail really shows very well at all with this white texture, so let's see if we can make a quick fix for that. So I had to pin the wick where I wanted it to make sure it was centered. I needed a less brittle wax, so I added some microcrystalline wax, but I think beeswax might be a better choice in the future. From there, I had to layer several coats on the inside to make sure there was an outer shell. That way the claws of the ears won't snap when I take it out of the mold. So now that there's a shell in there of much softer, pliable wax, all the detail, the claws, everything, that'll be captured. I can remove it from the mold without it breaking and snapping like the paraffin does. Now I'm gonna fill it with the cheaper paraffin wax. But if I just fill it and let it sit, I'm still gonna run into that thermal contraction issue. So I'm going to fill it partially with paraffin, let that harden, fill it partially with paraffin, let that harden. So the inner core will be layered paraffin. Outer shell should still stay intact. So that turned out a whole lot better. Now we need a base. Now I didn't film it, but there's still a lot of wax chasing that needs to be done. Claws need to be rebuilt, some holes and gaps need to be filled, hair texture needs to be put back in. It's still time consuming, but a little paint actually covers some of those flaws. Well, there you go. Turns out you can use your molds to make candles. I wouldn't say it's quick, easy, or efficient. I'm not even sure it's profitable, but it can be done. I think that looks pretty cool too. So now, you take your symbol of American freedom, put it up on your mantle, light your freedom on fire, and watch it just burn up in flames. Just like you do each night when you turn on the news. It's time I start selling some stuff, so I'm going to put this up on my newly created Etsy shop. You can find the link below. And I'll have a few of these available for you guys. Limited edition. I don't think I'm going to become a candle maker. I'll get back to real bronze, but still, kind of a cool side project. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.